Hi Geographers and welcome to yet another tutorial video for Geography. In this video I'm covering true bearing and magnetic bearing. So I'm gonna try first to cover true bearing and do magnetic bearing after calculating or finding the true bearing. So let's get to it. So say you were asked to find the true bearing from trick bacon 178 over here to trick bacon 183 over here the first thing you need to note is the words from and to and when you start that's where you're gonna that's where you're gonna put your true north so let's work this out so first thing you need to do is join the two uh the two trick bacons with a straight line and then our question says from 178 so from here that's where we'll put our our true north so your true north needs to be parallel to your longitudinal line over there and it should start right in the middle of the trick bacon over over there like that the reason for your true north to be parallel to the longitude line is for you to be able to precisely and accurately measure the true north as accurate as possible. So what you need to do after doing here, because you have your true north and your line joining the two uh, bacons, which is from 178 to 183, is just to measure the angle between the two true north and this line um in a clockwise direction so let's try to do that so in so doing this t junction over here it needs to be directly in inside the trick bacon and your your line or this line of a protractor over here it needs to be directly um, parallel or adjoined to this line over here and then you can just measure um, your true your true bearing so what I'm getting here this is 90 this is 91 92 93 and 94 so what I'm getting is 94 to be accurate so my trick true north or true bearing rather from trick bacon 178 to trick bacon trick bacon 183 it's 90 94 degrees so it is important to note that you're gonna count right at the zero o'clock over here so it's 10 20 30 40 up until 90 and then you just add whatever that after 90 so i got 90 94 degrees so let's reverse the question what if you were asked to calculate or to find the true bearing from 183 trick bacon over here to there at 178 trick bacon we still do the same thing so the first thing remember is to draw your true north where you need to start which is your from so i'm gonna draw my true north over here which is from 183 and already these lines are already joined so from here how i measure my true bearing is still the same way or the same method as i did before i need to measure from this true true north over here clockwise up until this adjoining um line over here so let's let's do it so we all know that if i put my ruler over here inside this this is 180 this is 100 and 180 so this will be 180 plus the angle whatever angle I'm gonna measure over here so I know I have 180 plus now I'm gonna measure the side 
and I still do the same thing align my triangle to the inside of the tree bacon and this line I need to be right on my true north over there and I still get 90 this is 0 up until 90 this is 19 this is 94 so two I mean 180 which is that angle plus 90 plus 94 will give me two hundred and eighty plus ninety four will give me two hundred and seventy four degrees so that's my true bearing from this trick bacon over here to that one over there so let's try to calculate magnetic bearing from what we have found from the first one which was ninety four so the mean magnetic declination of this map I'm using is 23 degrees 0, 01 minutes westwards. So in calculating um, the magnetic bearing, the formula is magnetic bearing equals to true bearing plus magnetic declination so the first uh, true bearing calculated was 94 degrees plus you just take this magnetic declination or the one you have calculated but this one is the mean magnetic declination and you add it to the true bearing to get magnetic bearing so 294 degrees plus 23 degrees 0, 01 minutes so let's punch this into the calculator this is 94 plus you only add degrees to degrees so 94 plus 23 equals 217 degrees the answer is 100 117 degrees zero one minute and note that i'm not putting in direction because magnetic bearing does not include um the direction so in this case this is your this is your answer i hope you guys understood or learned something from this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel for more tutorial videos until next time